I, I wasn't going to talk about the coronavirus. <laughs> but on the way here, I got really ill. <laughs> but I think it was because I ate a cherry pie. Like, I got a cherry pie from Bristol Farms, and I ate it, and then the car was going weird, and I was like, oh. And then I turned, we, he turned on the radio, Jeremy, and then all the fucking news was like, the guy was like, uh, well, there's uh, been so far 11 cases, 50, <laughs> 200. <laughs> I don't feel good. You know, you're like, oh, this is not good. I feel like you know, I'm in a fucking middle of a Stephen King novel or something. Like that. <laughs> what is this? Uh, so my plan is just to not die. You know, survive long enough where uh, they find a cure. You know, some people will have to die. <laughs> but finally they'll find a cure for me. <laughs> and then I'll thank all of It's funny how Big Farm is so evil till now. <laughs> So like, what is it, $200 a pill? Yeah, that's good, that's fine, I'll take it. <laughs> Give me all you got. <laughs> but uh, and now I'm sniffling, and I don't know what that is. Could be the cocaine, I guess. <laughs> I'm so nervous about his goddamn and then so I take cocaine, you know? <laughs> and then that makes the anxiety even more crippling. <laughs> it's funny that we all now know how we're gonna die. <laughs> it's just a matter of what order at this point. I went to the Costco and the fucking everybody trying to buy shit and everything. Like the end of the world. And I'm like, hey, anything? And they go, you gotta make yours. I'm like, I don't know how to make Purell. <laughs> oh, I can't touch my fucking face. <laughs> Remember the good old days when washing your hands didn't take three hours? <laughs> Like A, B, C, D, uh, just take me now. Um, <laughs> so the mind never wanders too far from, you know, like I'll be talking about all kinds of horse shit up here tonight, but every moment I'll be thinking of this disease. <laughs> just to let you know. Getting away from you guys a little bit more. <laughs> uh, but it comes at a good time, this, uh, where we're all quarantined, because <laughs> we know how to live like that, right? We got our fucking magic phones and computers and everything. We don't need no fucking people. <laughs> it was the last step between us and happiness anyway, we're people. Got the TV and shit. Fucking more interesting people than anybody I know. Uh, listen to fucking first take and spend my last moments on earth with Max Kellerman. <laughs> uh, God damn, I can tell you it's the baby laxative in this fucking cocaine. <laughs> Rolling down the back of my throat. God damn. But I'm old anyway, uh, you know, so if I die, it won't be as much of a tragedy. I'm uh, 68 years young, I like to say. Yeah. You get old and you start worrying anyway, you know. Forget the coronavirus, like that's possible. I said I wasn't gonna mention it. 
I, you know, I was, I was talking to the manager. He's like, nobody wants to hear about the fucking coronavirus. They come here to not hear about the coronavirus. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's true. But it was a good idea you made. It was a good choice tonight to come out and sit beside total strangers. <laughs> At least I might be here. I could run, you know? At least I can flee when I see it. I don't want to alarm anybody at all, but I could uh, sneeze on you. <laughs> and it would be the equivalent of a, like a nine millimeter. You know. I went to die. I don't know this medical fucking gobbledygook. You know, I can't understand it. I'm not a fucking doctor. But he said I'm more virus than host. Who knows, Who knows what these guys mean? The other big words. Fuck. Who knew it was gonna end this way? I thought it was gonna be a fucking uh, big uh, iceberg or something. Sounded fun for a while. It's like, oh, the oceans will rise in a big iceberg. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Not like your kid. <coughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Fucking shit and blood. Uh, I got a phone 911. I got the coronavirus. Don't come here. <laughs> Stay at home. Uh, you can't have bad thoughts. You know, you gotta have positive feelings because that. No, uh, those don't work either. <laughs> Turns out doctors now realize that uh, thinking positively about something doesn't fucking help at all. Well, anyway. Because the deadly virus has no idea you feel real positive. <laughs> they feel pretty positive, too. <laughs> and we don't have a cure for them. They obviously have a cure for us. Oh, I feel something. <laughs> it's only the virus twisting around my brain stem. I think it's the... feel my brain stem a little liquefying. Oh, well. <laughs> Nobody said it'd be a rose garden, you know. But they actually did this live on when we were listening to the radio. They were talking about this South by Southwest, and they said, well, there's been a cancellation at South by Southwest. This band... Oh, the whole thing's canceled. That's what the guy says. The guy hands him another thing. Ah! South by Southwest has been canceled. The entire thing. And the direction south. That's gone. Who knows, you know? I mean, who knows how you're going to die? I mean, we all know now. But <laughs> think back a week ago. Think back a week ago. I loved back a week ago. <laughs> Moving way too fast. But you gotta be prepared, you know what I mean, in this year of life for any eventuality. And uh, that means being prepared. I'm not talking about buy a can of uh, cor corn. <laughs> that's only uh, cosmetic. I'm talking about having a whole room that's locked and fill it with firearms. <laughs> and you gotta be prepared, you know what I mean? I mean, uh, listen, I never thought I'd say this in my life, but I'd shoot my son in the fucking belly. <laughs> if he had a sneeze or that shit. I mean, he's a great kid, I love him, but he's never been on the TV, you know? 